Hey guys, uh, it is uh, Dylan and Tanisha here today for you guys to see all about the brand new Folk Art Drizzle addition to the Folk Art uh, line of paints. Now this is a fluid art acrylic pouring paint and today Tanisha is going to touch on some of our specialty finishes. So I'm going to let Tanisha take it away and we will be moderating her comments. Um, so let, let me know if you have any comments and I will relay those to Tanisha. But she's going to talk about all of the amazing glitters and iridescence and metallics that we have for you in this collection. So I'll let Tanisha take it away. All right, hello everybody. Like Dylan said, my name is Tanisha and I am here to show you some drizzle projects. So the first one I'm gonna do is called a dirty pour. And this is probably the most uh, popular kind of paint pouring. It's the one that you saw a lot maybe a year or so ago when paint pouring first became pretty popular. And the way you do that is you use a cup. So we're gonna use a single cup and we're gonna pour into this all of the colors that we want to use. And I believe that's why it's called a dirty pour because all the colors are mixing and matching and swirling up in there. So today we're gonna to be talking about our specialty drizzle paints. These ones are our flash paints. And uh, what that means is it's iridescent and as it moves or as your point of view moves, it changes color. Um, so I'm sure you've seen this on cars and some other things. Uh, occasionally you see a car that goes by and you're like, whoa, that car was two different colors. That's what this kind of stuff is like. So as you move your head, you will see different colors go. And it is, again, iridescent. So it's not really glittery, but it is, um, it has a bit of a sparkle to it. So we're going to start out. Um, this, this set is Optimistic Flash, which is the purple. And I'll actually show you. Um, oh, that one's stuck. I'll show you in here. This is the um, purple with the blue. Actually, this is most of the colors that I'm about to use except for this little pink one, which is Cosmo Flash. So I'm going to put that one back down and we're going to get our dirty pour on. So we're just going to throw a big squeeze of paint from each bottle. I'm going to try here to go light, dark, light, dark. It doesn't matter too, too much because, again, it is swirling up in there. And you don't have to get it in the center. You don't have to do it on the side. You can play around with this. And that's the nice thing about um, paint pouring is it's really all just one big experiment. And the paint really decides its own direction. Yeah, Tanisha has been crafting the last two weeks with Folk Art Drizzle and experimenting with all the tools, so I think she has some first-hand experience um, trying out all of the different techniques. Yeah. So we've been doing a few lives here and there showing the different um, ways to do this, so if you want to look for what else we've been doing, we've been doing a ton. Okay, so for a dirty pour, it's pretty fun what you do. You know what? Let me put some gloves on, actually. And you don't need gloves using uh, this paint because it is non-toxic. Yeah, and drizzle is water-based and non-toxic, so it's really easy to clean it up with soap and water. Yeah, very, very simple. But because I'm doing multiple pours, I just want to keep my hands a little less gooey, so <laughs> I'm not getting it everywhere as we move on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip my uh, canvas on top of this cup, right? We're going to use the cup at, or the, the canvas as a top to that. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to try to get my hand out of here. <laughs> okay, we're putting it back down. And here's where the magic happens. I'm going to lift this cup up and all the paint's going to go boosh all over the canvas and we're going to see the glory of paint pouring. Okay, ready? Woo! Cool. Okay, and then we're just gonna tip it a little bit here and there to spread out the coloring. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm so glad. And so yesterday we did a little live where Dylan showed us um, the use of um, what, what was the oil called? Silicone, silicone oil. Silicone oil. Yeah. Um, and with silicone oil, you get what's called cells. 
So I am not using a silicone oil, but you're still seeing the separation, a little bit of that paint, um, you know, just the paint kind of uh, flowing with itself. Right. For when you use silicone oil, it, it helps it to separate into cells. And so you can get some really, really cool pores that way. But as you can see, dirty pour, super simple, super fast. And um, one tip that we like to talk about is using a butane torch. So you can use this to get out the bubbles. Now bubbles aren't a huge issue with paint pouring um, because it's so fluid and a lot of times the bubbles will come out with the pour. But if you wanna quickly get rid of the few bubbles that are there, and again, it's not huge. There's just a few there. You can use a butane torch and they are gone just like that. And you can see how this dirty pour, the colors have really blended and they're working together really well. Mm -hmm. And we formulated folk art drizzles so that your colors don't muddy, but they do mix to create new colors, um, but they also st remain very vibrant and poppy. So it's a really great product to pour with. Yeah, and if you think about it, um, in a normal paint, you would see some muddying between, let's say, this red and blue. Um, you know, you would, you would not get what we're getting here, which is this beautiful um, color mixing as well as keeping those colors separated. I mean, I just, I love the way this paint works. I love that you do not get that muddying look. I just think it's wonderful. Yeah. So... Um, that was our first one. That's a dirty pour. Super simple. You can do this with um, little to no uh, experience in paint pouring. You know, again, you're just putting a cup on it and going bloosh, and there you go. You have a beautiful piece of art. You let that dry for a few days, and it would be ready to hang on your wall. So, oh, thank you so much. And then if you want to go overhead um, and grab that canvas in front of you just to show how that finish sure. will end up, these, these pigments are so cool. Um, they have such a beautiful iridescence. Yeah. And you can see how that, that, those pigments almost shift in the light. So you can see on the, the darker one, it really, really shines. And yes, you can see that shift. It's really pretty, really fun. And this, um, all of our paints, dry to a gloss finish all of our drizzle paints so really you get that nice finish you do not have to top coat these it has a lovely finish as is all right now i'm just going to grab another small canvas here and you can see that we're working on these cookie sheets and the nice thing about using these sheets is that they're non-stick and the paint, once dry, you can peel directly off of these. And sometimes they make gorgeous pieces of uh, paint that we call skins uh, that peel right off. I mean, you can, you can then cut them and put them on things like a decoupage material, which is really, really fun. And we have done that here in the past. I'm not sure if we have... Um, any anything up on our website that shows that but i'm sure we will here in the future yeah we've done a few projects on lampshades and um, you can use it to stencil with cut out letters and we're going to be doing a bunch more live so keep uh, tuned in uh, so that you see when we do go live and that will be one of our next techniques paint skins yeah. um, which i know is a great technique that people are always into it's really um it's one of those satisfying things that people make videos about on YouTube. You know, you can, you can um, make an ASMR with it, peeling off those, those paint skins. Absolutely. All right. So let's do, I'm a fan of the seven slotted cup. So I'm going to do a seven slotted cup. Um, and it is how it sounds. It's got a hard bottom. Whoops, there's a little bit of paint left in there. That's okay. Um, it, it has a hard bottom. So it holds the paint that you want and then you slowly let it out. And so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna move on to our metallics. And I'm gonna go with metallics and one dark color, which is uh, a good night. And this is not a uh, metallic. So I'm gonna start with, the great thing is you can use um, all of our original formulas and specialties together. So I think this will show off yeah. all of the different techniques that you can do. And it 
it's really, really fun, again, just to experiment and see what happens with all the different, I mean, really, it's just so fun because you can make up your own techniques. You don't even have to follow, you know, what everybody else seems to be doing. You can really make it up as you go along, and it's just almost always totally gorgeous. Yep. And Tanisha is using that seven slotted cup, which is available at Michael's. We have several different uh, styles of cups to use. We have flower uh, shape, a star shape, a three slotted cup, and a seven slotted cup. Those are our specialty cups. So I encourage you to go check those out. Um, they're really cool because they give you a uh, basically a technique in a package. You know, like they are ready to go. Pull them out of the package, pour some paint into them and you will have a really unique looking pouring technique. So they're really fun to get started with. We always recommend uh, doing either the seven slotted cup or the th three slotted cup. If you are new to pouring, it almost guarantees a great result every time. And there are also some really interesting techniques that you can use with those slotted cups, like a tree ring pour. If you caught us yesterday in the Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group, Tanisha did a really beautiful tree ring pour with some gold and some of the other specialties. So there are a lot of different techniques that um, our tools really lend themselves to. Yeah. And it is fun to pick up, you know, you can just pick up a kit of paint that comes with the colors and then a, a single tool and you will have fun for an entire weekend for sure. Yeah. And we've heard from a lot of people that they can't wait to try this with their kids. And I can confirm that um, kids do love doing this. <laughs> I had two of my own and they uh, were overjoyed when I brought some of this home. So I am just pouring this out, doing little baby circles. And you can, you know, kind of go with the flow here. I can make bigger circles with more paint coming out or I can do teeny, teeny, tiny with less paint coming out. You sort of just want to get your paint on canvas here. And you want to get enough where it's going to stretch out. And Dylan made a good point yesterday on one of our lives saying he usually waits until it starts pouring off the sides and then he knows that he has enough paint on there. Yeah. And this is great because this is more of a home decor color combination. You might mm -hmm. see folk art drizzle and think, those are some really bright colors. I don't know that that would work on my walls, but we actually, you know, if you break it down, the metallics and the iridescence really lend themselves well to different styles of decor. And you can also blend your own colors from these beautiful, vibrant colors. That's right. That's, that's something that I like doing as well is blending new colors out of what we have. So you can see as you pour off the edge there, you're opening up your lines before they looked so tight and tiny but hidden in there was a great pattern that I'm going to keep stretching out here. Get those couple drips off. Yeah, and the that. seven slot and three slotted cups are also really good for like a, a geode style kind of finish. Yes. You can see Tanisha's got a beautiful pattern now. Um, that's great. And it started out with those teeny tiny lines. I mean, it's, it's just so fun to do this stuff because really you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. That's my favorite part of Gosh, pouring. Gosh, that's beautiful. And this would, you know, this sort of is a, has a masculine vibe that could go in a bathroom, something yeah. like that. And really, really nice. Absolutely. Simple. And it only, you see, every time I start one of these projects, they really do not take long. So I'm going to take my, my torch again. And really, I don't even see many bubbles in this one. And that's it. Now you're just ready to go and let it dry. So again, if you're going to hang it up, you definitely want to let it dry for a few days so you don't stick to anything. Thank you so much. And this last one, I'm going to grab a big canvas. Oh, sorry for the noise there. straightened out so everyone can see it. So now I'm going to use some glitters, but I want to show you before I start with the glitters, I want to show you some finished glitters because when I pour them out, you'll see that they look initially milky. 
but when they dry, they are clear, and all that's left is that gorgeous glitter. So I hope you can see that really well. Actually, I'll come up closer to the camera here. It's a lot like pouring with liquid glitter. Yes. <laughs> it's just if you uh, put a pouring medium in one of those glitter jars, you're able to just pour it onto your canvas. It's right. not super messy. It doesn't flake and go everywhere. So you'll see when we're pouring it, again, it does look a little milky, but it dries perfectly to that gorgeous, gorgeous finish. So this is a mix of the metallics and the glitters, which I think is really nice, and maybe that's what we will do. So let's do one of our open-ended cups. So this is, a, um, this is one of our star cups, and you can see that it does not have a bottom. So the point of this is that you leave it on your canvas so that it, it uh, does sort of what we were doing with the dirty pour, right? You're creating a bit of a suction. You put your paint in here, slowly let it out, and let it uh, go over the entire canvas. So, and Dylan, remind me, when, when you used this yesterday, did you start with... Um, a base color. You, start, you started with a base yeah. color. Okay, so let's do that again. We'll show that again. So I'm going to use a, let's just do a white metallic. And this one is called, this is our Cloud Surf. I'm just going to get it all over there. And the reason we create a, uh, the reason we do a base is so that the paint, when it comes out of our cup, flows directly into the other liquid paint. So you're not waiting for it to go over the canvas, it's, it's mixing directly in with the other paint. So it just makes it a little bit easier to get a nice flow from your cup. And this is pretty just straight out of the bottle, isn't it? Looks like opals. Yeah, it's a beautiful pearly kind of sheen. Yeah, mother of pearl, I guess, is what I was thinking, not opals. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. All right. So then I'm going to stick my cup right in what I hope is the center there. OK. And we're going to do. A couple glitters, and we have um, our glitters are really, really lovely. We have a gold, um, which is called Gold Rush. We have a um, bluish black that's called Cosmic Sky, and uh, one called Salty, which is a bit of a very, very pale pink, I guess. Yeah, it's like a bunch of pastel kind of iridescent glitters. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to do a mix of metallics and glitter. So let's start with the metallic. And I'm going to do all the slots here. I'm going to play around. I'm going to do a glitter on top of that. Now let's let it out a little bit so you guys can see. So I'm just going to lift it up a tiny bit, and you can already see that flowing out in a really, really lovely pattern. So that's what we're going to continue to do. This one, I believe, is called New Penny. Yep. And again, let's just keep adding this lovely gold glitter. Lift up again. Let's do a little bit of, I'm going to go in with a regular white to get us a little more definition here. And these paints, if I didn't already say this, these paint, paints are exclusively at Michael's. Yeah, we have links in the description. Um, if you click those links, we have 
one to our YouTube playlist of all the different technique videos. We also have one directly to Michael's if you want to shop the collection. And we also have a great site, a landing page. Uh, if you go to pladonline.com slash drizzle, you will find all of this information. There is a free PDF printable guide. We have a lot of resources for you guys if you're new to pouring. All right. Let's see. I'm going to throw something else in here because I feel like we're getting, I want it to show up well on camera. And although we can see the defini definition from here, you might not be able to see it on camera. So let's go in with something dark so you can see that star shape. And I'm going to let this move out a little bit. And yesterday Dylan did this type of pour with the silicone oil so it was really really impressive. Uh, every time he pulled it up you would see all these gorgeous cells come yeah. up. Cells are a great thing in Oh it's fluid so art. fun. It is so fun. It really feels like magic sometimes. So now we're seeing a little bit of that blue come out, a little bit of that white. Yeah, and Tanisha's shown you a really good technique. Um, sometimes it's just great to use these cups uh, to experiment and try new techniques. Um, there are a lot of ways to use the shaped cups. Sometimes you get a very specific shape of that star or the flower. Um, but also using these specialties, you can kind of just get a unique way of putting your paint on the canvas. So they're just kind of fun to use sometimes. Yeah, and so you can see here, it's kind of funny because the, we just used the star cup, but it almost came out more like your flower cup yeah. from yesterday. Yeah. But let me get these big bubbles and then we're gonna spread it out and see what happens. So let's see, this is, get my stuff out of the way before I get everything messy. Let's see, I'm trying to do this evenly so we don't lose our little flower. But it's okay if we do, because it is, we're really seeing that, the definition in the center there. It's starting to look more like a galaxy pour, which is funny. Yeah. And again, you know, you've taken some really bold colors and the colors really start to go into kind of a home decor direction. Yep. That's a really beautiful piece that you'd probably find in a gallery or something, you know? Yeah, so look at that. That looks beautiful. a little Van Gogh-ish, doesn't it? Yeah, very starry night. <laughs> and, you know, the, it doesn't end here. You could keep going and uh, do a, um, you know, fling some paint on this. You could use our dropper tools. You could do all kinds of stuff if you wanted to add to uh, your first pour, you don't have to stop here. You could add more layers, which is also really fun. Yeah. So absolutely. I'm just going to hit this one more time while we finish up. And just so you guys know, we do have a Michaels class today at uh, four o'clock. It is free. And remind me, Dylan, what the address is to find that. Yeah. So if you go to michaels.com and go to their community classroom, you can sign up there and they will send you a Zoom link. We will be teaching uh, the, an overview of the program to introduce it. It is our first Michaels class in the community classroom of the Drizzle launch. And we're also going to be highlighting the Drop Swipe Stir Tool Kit. And we're going to be using those droppers to make a rainbow drip canvas. So it's going to be really fun. And uh, Dylan and I did a giant rainbow canvas that was so, so fun. Yeah. Um, we had it here behind us and we were just flinging things all over the place. And you know, you may think that's how we got our, our <laughs> outfits here because that's basically what the canvas looked like. Right. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned something. If you're interested in doing pouring, this is a great system to start it with. Again, it's only available at Michael's. So go in store or online to find it all. Like we said, we have tons of tools, tons of paint. There's so much to choose from. Um, you can go easy and just get a kit or you can go individual and pick out your favorite colors. Um, this is fun to do with kids, with older people. With, basically anyone can do this um, from you know beginners to advanced people. So um, thank you so much for joining us.